Oh, lads and ladies, we're getting quite a few ladies on the channel now. Woo, 1.7%. Still not a lot, though. Well, anyway, today is what we are going to be I'm bringing you is five types of students. Now, I've done like five types of students. Five types of people we see at high school. But this is like a remake of it because like, I was like 12 then and it didn't like a real squeaky voice. So let's go on with today's video. The first type of high school student. It, this one that literally is like the one that you want to punch in class that like, like, you know, like say if they're sat in front of you and you just want it, you just growl at the red just because they're so annoying. So your teacher hangs out homework. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. It's due in for Friday, right? Friday comes. The no, no, no. So then, like, me, Mark, Johnny, haven't done the homework. So this smart bugger thinks, oh, I've done the homework. Miss, miss, miss. Do you remember, you've not remembered to hand in the homework. Like, mate, mate, right, what is your life? If you want to do it, right, do it in your own time. Don't do it because you want to get us in trouble and you would not like the smart kid in the class just because you want like just because you fancy the teacher. But in fact, you're making yourself look like a mug and you're making yourself people hate you. And then you can go, but when you're older you need to be independent. But like, I'm not being for it. I don't think a piece of Pythagoras theorem is gonna help with me future working in a, a cardboard cardboard cutout box shop or something like that. It's like what is Pythagoras theorem? It's like why do we need to do it? And why are you telling us, telling tell the teacher? Oh, get a life, mate. Second type of student. Now this one isn't one that is like disliked or like. It's the one that you don't know even there. Now I didn't speak this in my English class last year. Now I was, it was about April, and we were doing our GCSEs. Now someone says, oh, so, someone like Sophie's in the class. Who? Hey, Sophie? You know the girl in that class. Is she? Is she that? Like, the one that never speaks. I'm like. Because they're not this wide, not wide, so like no one knows they're there because they're so quiet. You can go to the, you have a nice day. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. Like mate, I know you're shy, but speak up a bit, like I'm not going to kill you. Like, speak up, let's do some work. It's like, come on mate, speak. And they're just so awkward, like, it's always you making the conversation when you're in a group with them. And it's always you that's put in the group with them. Brilliant. Number three. Now, every school has got one. It's a class seller. Now, oh, forget, forget drugs, forget alcohol. Every break time, everyone will be looking for this guy. 50p a can, a pound a packet of Harry Bones. And we knew damn well it was we can bloom in our day that you pay 31 people. We could do the same. But no, we're still craving those sweet times, those sweet break time. We're so hungry. And we've got a sandwich in our bag we can nibble into. But no, we want those wine gums that taste off and that cost 31 people more. But now, why not pay a pound for them from Big Ben in the LSA? Is that every, every school has one? And as soon as the court, it goes really shafty. It's in the bag, what do you want, what do you want, and you're digging in the bag. I know sometimes you've even got to pre-order it, if that's how big it goes. Every school must have a seller. Does did your school or does your school have a seller? Let me know. The secret eater. Now, there's always that one student that's always got the bag of crisps. And we're slobbing on it in class, and you can hear it, and it's like, no, he's in class. This never happens, like, pretty sure. 50% of you watching this, you've eaten something like a bag of crisps, a chocolate bar, uh, a sandwich in your class. Because I used to be guilty of this. I used to get hungry, obviously you can tell. Um, in class, pretty sure 50% of you got hungry in class and had a little nibble. Now this one took it to extremes. It wouldn't just be a sandwich. It wouldn't, it'd have to be one that stunk like a tuna sandwich or pork beef, something like that, and then they'd get like, then they wouldn't just finish there, they'd have like an ice cream, and they, they wouldn't be like that, they'd make it so obvious, they'd be like, like so, so far we've got the secret team set who 
pretty much swabs and everything in class. The seller who pretty much sells everything and makes like a six pound profit a day and goes to the local shop for the latest bit of supplies. The, uh, the silent one who never really talks. And yeah. We also have the grass as number one. Now, quite the opposite from number one. The last one is the bullshitter. Now, this one is shagged more girls than you can count on your fingers. He's got Messi, Pac and Ronaldo in the same pack on FIFA. He shagged your mum last night and he's already completed his football manager. Now, you're probably thinking now I'm thinking of Jay out the in between us, but no. There's always that one person you think is better than everyone else. They've done it with everyone. If you shagged four birds, he shagged five. And the majority of this isn't true. If I see when he sees a girl, he's like, oh, hello. Or he never speaks to his girlfriend in school. He'll just wait till he's over. Oh, sorry I didn't see you there. Uh, I was kind of shy. But next time I see I'm going to give you a big up. Next time he sees her, I know mean, you're right. Yeah. So, it's just, it's just, they're so annoying how much they drone on. Like this video. Um, and on and on and on. But they're actually not telling the truth. So, quite a school bullshit for them. So, thank you for watching today's video. How many of them ring true with you? Now, this is just my personal experience with high school. If, you, if, you're, if you're one of them, don't come at me. I don't say you're going to fight me. Go follow my Twitter and my Facebook. Everything will be in the link down below. We are so close to 2,000 subscribers. If you could like and subscribe, that means so much to me. Can we get 30 likes on this video? Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace. Out.